Okay, this video demonstrates uh, my small script, which is made uh, to fit uh, logical models to flow curves. So, let's see how to use it. First of all, let's go to GitHub. Here is the address. You can find it in the video description. And either you clone with Git or you can simply download the zip file. Save it. Now, this should have been downloaded. And there we go. You can extract wherever you want. And let's go to open it. So here you will find this with the PyFlow filter. This is the script. Two files, the Python script and the input data. This is comma separated value. You can open uh, with any software. Here I'm using Linux. Open with, I can use, yes, this is a spreadsheet software similar to Excel, but it's LibreOffice. Importantly, we have uh, two columns, shear rate and shear stress. There we go. So here, I don't do it now, but uh, I can paste the values from any measurement that I make with my rheometer. So this makes the analysis independent of the rheometer software. Close it and let's execute. In Linux, I simply open a terminal that's very similar in other uh, OS like uh, Windows. And then let's execute with the interpreter Python 3 and then flow fitter. Right. It's going to fit all to this uh, stress and strain giving me uh, the viscosity and uh, uh, the viscosity models uh, outputs. Output file name is normally the name of my samples. Let's say SketchUp. OK. Again, in the same fold, what do I get here? Well, the data. This is the shear rate and the shear stress exactly like those in the input file. I calculate the viscosity, uh, the experimental viscosity, simply the ratio, very easy. And here I have all the models. So format text, grab the text. For example, the caro, I can plot this as a line and this is exactly the line which will fit this viscosity. I also have the results so let's wrap again these ones. For example the power law. K and N, I think anybody working with rheology knows them. K is uh, 41.55 and N is 0 0.57. Here I have uh, several um, scores, but the most used is the R2. And the R2 is 0 0.97 for the power law, which is not great. Carro did much better, uh, 0 0.999. Um, Okay, so that I can, if I want, export also these values to any publication or to the graph that I will make with any plotting software. This is as independent as possible. Well, hope 
that you will find this uh, little script useful. Please post any comment if you like. Thanks for your attention.